You're listening to the Slavic Literature Pod, your shelf help guide to all things Slavic. I'm Cameron Lolata. And I'm Matt Garrisonovich. And this is part one, chapter 38 of Vasily Grossman's Life and Fate, talking about the night, talking about calm air about the previously to the previous to the deployment to Stalingrad. Uh, is there anywhere that you would like to start in particular about uh, this Boy Scout outing? Yes. As, a, as our, as our resident, would. you, you made it all the way to the Boy Scouts, didn't you? The boys? No, no. no. All right. Neither of us, neither of us <laughs> okay. made it to the Boy Scouts. Sorry. Neither of us are in a position to talk about this. I feel like out of the two of us, you would know a lot more about, I don't know, knots, various foraging, <laughs> <laughs> I made it four fifths out of the way through the Cub Scouts. Okay, I think I think you got me beat on that one. But uh, <laughs> okay, all right. Speaking of our Boy Scout outing, sure. This was a very interesting chapter to have placed right after the last one, because in the last chapter we had a not so nice anti-Semitic incident between uh, a, a lot of the people in this regiment, and now we have them singing and drinking together. And having a good time getting ready to go off to battle. And so I I think it's, well, for one, just an, an interesting contrast between the two. Uh, I think that the sort of, the sort of end of this chapter sort of gives me a little bit of pause, this kind of looking out into the vast eternal nature where... You know, it says, uh, you know, everything, the river, the fields, the forest was so beautiful, so peaceful that hatred, betrayal, and old age seemed impossible. Nothing could exist but love and happiness, which is so contrary to the last chapter. But (laughs) these sort of fleeting moments that we have when we can sort of Mm. kind of be subsumed by the sublime existence of nature. Uh, Don't worry, I'm going to execute myself after the sentence. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I, I don't I also hear it when I when I talk sometimes but uh, <laughs> only sometimes only sometimes <laughs> but just you know these these moments where you can just look out and everything feels at peace for just this moment and and Grossman really captures this beautiful fleeting essence of what that is like and of course that that can't that can't stay and what had seemed so infinite during the night was now dissolving in the blue of the sky as the pilots are taking off and you know wouldn't it be nice to stay in in this world of uh of beauty where there is no hatred and there's just love and happiness but no we have to go off to war and not only the the world of war but also the world of the previous chapter which is uh not exactly harmonious relations between uh, or among everybody in this regiment is that a good place to start yeah, I mean, it's a good place to st- it's a good place to talk about, I guess, the position of warfare. So many soldiers, um, we've 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 started with Viktorov in the forest and kind of the the larger feelings, the hot shot feelings of a young soldier going to war. Uh, we've had we've had some uh, interrogation of what it means to be Jewish in the Soviet Union, and now finally we have kind of the the hour of takeoff, the hour of the bitter hour of parting. You know, one pilot would forget his curl in a couple of days, another couple would be separated by death, another would be allowed to meet again, as it says at the end of the chapter. We have all these soldiers and this, I don't know how to talk about it, like this relationship of people who have not yet had the cell phone, who when they leave, they <laughs> they like it sounds glib to say, but like truly, when you leave, you left. Right. Like now I leave and I go, you know, an hour awake, uh, an hour away. And I text my girlfriend like, hey, what's up? Like that's no, a, that's off without of office at this point. <laughs> right. Like that, that like that's how far I am away from <laughs> from like people I, I know. You and I are, are hours and hours away by plane. And yeah, I can text you at any point of the day. It's like, hey, what's up? I don't. But if, you, if I were to text you that, you know, you could respond theoretically. But now these people are not. I wouldn't, but theoretically, I could. <laughs> it would seem weird. You only you only send poorly written news stories and uh, <laughs> uh, unsightly memes. Yeah, it'd be a little strange. But like that's this is this is a different bitter hour of parting, as it says here. Um, and and that is a different sort of parting than than we're used to at this point in time. Yeah, it also kind of speaks to the way that. Um, 
you know, it's it's often difficult to think about if you haven't lived through this kind of experience, but just the way that uh, war is really good at mobilizing people who are at, even at odds with each other, uh, people with petty differences, real differences, whatever. It's an incredible force uh, for mobilization and has been for a very, very long time. So the way that these sort of I don't want to call them differences because they're they're quite serious issues that were uh, brought up in the last chapter. The way that they're essentially just sort of paved over as everybody is is realizing that they're pretty much going to the front, more or less to die. Uh, this kind of uh, for a moment at least brings everyone together, and it's sort of in, in this kind of harmony of this one moment that you can kind of see this sort of almost transcendental effect that is almost as if or almost like that little bit of nature that they see and it's it is beautiful for a second even if they are talking about killing germans in planes right and everyone's drunk and laughing and singing it's all right just for just for a second and grossman won't let that continue but for a second it's all right (laughs) (laughs) that that's a good that's a good subtitle for this book for just a second everything's all right (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah just a second just a second and that second will not last as we will find out tomorrow we'll get into it tomorrow you'll hear from us again uh soon